Hi guys, it's uh, Let's Do This Gaming back with another Roblox video and today we're playing Skyblocks again guys. Yeah, this is a one a day later. Yeah, you could do a lot in this game if you know what you're doing. So today I'm going to talk about the Skyblocks totems guys and how you can auto farm. This is uh, lesson number one. So yeah, if you don't know what a totem is, uh, let's go into town. Now, in town here, we have a, a special uh, merchant, which is called Totems. And if we just click on him there, we can see that we can buy all sorts of different uh, Totems, which basically harvest your crops or resources for free. So that is pretty good. And you can automate them as well. So we're going to go and buy another Totem today. Actually, no, we won't. I already have a totem in my inventory. What I'm going to do is buy more seed. Yeah, that's where you want to start off, guys. You want to buy the seed first because you're going to need the seed and for the totems. So let's go ahead and buy, I don't know, maybe three more seed. Oh, let's go. Let's get four more seed. All right, so we've got four more onion seed, guys. Uh, let's go back to the farm and see how we use these totems. Okay, so this is the farm so far. Uh, yeah, you want to be collecting this stuff as quickly as you can because, well, you know, you're making a lot of money, guys. But if you want to automate your process, well, that's where the totems come in. Now, I have a few totems in my inventory, so let's get them out. So first we're going to talk about the onion totem, guys. But before I do, let's plant those onion seeds. So it doesn't really matter where you put the onion seeds, as long as it's close to where the totem is going to be. And what the totem is going to do is harvest these onions for you. So let's go ahead and put in an onion totem. So you put them in the grass, but they have to be close to a bed that you have the onion seeds in. And then this is what happens guys, it just sits there and doesn't do much at all. But when the onions grow, and every 20 seconds I believe the totem will harvest the onion. So let's just see what happens. Now I've actually got this set up on a conveyor belt, which is a level 3 crafting item. There you go guys, so it's harvested an onion and then you'll see what happens in a minute. So as long as the totem pole is right next to the conveyor, then it should drop it onto the conveyor and automatically it'll go into your storage. So that should happen any second. It does take a little bit of time, but this is an indication that the totem is ready to drop it. So let's just wait guys, it's coming. It's coming. There we go. It drops and it rolls into the conveyor storage. So if we have a look at the storage now, this is the industrial chest. We can see that it can store up to five items. Now I've got wheat and onions in here, so you can store whatever you like. So let's go and put a wheat totem down as well. Now again, they can be put anywhere as long as they're next to the conveyor. The thing is, guys, you need a lot of seeds because, well, onions take a long time to grow. Not so much the wheat, but you're not making so much money from the wheat. So, yeah, that is the onion totem. And as you can see, as long as the onions keep going, uh, the totem will do its thing. Now, as you can see here, it, the totem also planted another seed. Now, the only thing with totems, guys, is you don't get extra seeds. So when you harvest the crop, uh, you'll notice over here, let's just quickly harvest, harvest, harvest you'll see that there's a plus one in pink every now and again. And that's an indication that you've got a bonus seed. So yes, that is cool when you have bonus seeds because you can plant more crops. But that doesn't happen with the totems. So you've got to keep that in mind. So yes, now I've got a bunch of wheat, guys. Wheat is probably the easiest way to harvest and replant if you're going to do things manually. And look how much extra seed you get, guys. You get a lot of extra seed and you can can grow your wheat plot really quickly. Now my wheat here after I harvest and then replant I basically get about a thousand coins. So that didn't take very long at all and I know people talk about the auto farmers being amazing but you've got to get started somewhere guys. I suggest start with a big wheat crop and just go in and sell that and replant every time. Because the time you've actually replanted that and then harvested everything else, you're almost ready to go again. So yes, that is the onion totem, guys. That is also the wheat totem. Now let's go over to the 
industrial section of the farm. As you can see here, uh, Bloxy Rose has been very busy, guys. She is doing a lot of work with these grapes. Yes, and she's got some exciting stuff to tell you about grapes as well. So her plot is coming along quite nicely. She's going to get into building really soon because now we're building clay bricks, guys. Yes, we have clay bricks. So these are the totems that you have, and it's a similar sort of concept. If you put a conveyor belt next to them, you can actually auto save this stuff but basically we can do that or we can even harvest the actual uh, well maybe I can't harvest yes we can we can actually harvest the actual stone here so this is uh, ore now obviously uh, yeah that's not going to work very well with a uh, axe so you want to use the right tool guys because it's a lot quicker now this is the clay totem and again you could do the same thing over here why do I have the axe again all right, you can do the same thing over here, guys. Yes, this is the clay totem, and now you have clay, and if you have a look at the totem itself, well, yes, it has clay ready for you to collect. So I'm going to go ahead and do some automation on this as well so that we can put it into storage and just collect as much as we like. Now, the other thing you need to keep in mind, guys, now the automation is done through a Tier 3 workbench so you're going to have to save up for that now because this has all moved from tier two so it's a lot harder and i'm going to do a video on how to get these sticky gears next guys because well that's what you need to get some industrial ovens sawmills and smelters and then you can get things really moving along anyway guys that's all i've got time for today please like and subscribe and until next time it's bye for now